Greetings, and today I have another wet deck video for you guys. So this particular deck is a deck that I would want to use if I were to, uh, you know, want to relax, chill, play some really chill games. Um, when I'm like, for some reason, get tired of uh, playing meta for too long, which does happen quite often, actually. Um, so I am going to uh, try out with the sim, going to play around with the simulate again. Um, but I have decided to add unorthodox cards just because I was in the mood. Um, also, the echo in the room will still continue to persist because uh, we've yet to start moving stuff into this room. So um, once we get there, you'll notice the video quality, the sound of the echo will disappear once you know everything gets moved in. I might potentially do a room tour, um, maybe. So uh, until then, uh, we're just gonna keep rocking out with some decks. Uh, so we do have the assimilate Nilfgaard deck. Um, I am going to be using the Tourney Shelmar because I think this card could actually be pretty strong. Um, it would obviously be more desirable to play this in a mid to long round, uh, mid to long round, um, just simply because of that ranged ability to be able to boost self by two for each allied unit. The more of those units you can create, the more power this thing gets. Um, you can even do it in a long round too if you want to try and 2-0 your opponent, honestly, you could possibly do that. Um, but if you're playing against mirror factions, of course, you'd want to use it for its, nilf with its ability to, dis to damage your nilf guardian enemy by 7. That's the thing, it's very powerful. An 11 for 8 is absolutely insane. And uh, with how prominent Nilfgaard is, this card, you could honestly sneak this into some of your Nilfgaard decks. And whenever you come across like Nilfgaard uh, decks in ladder, you can honestly just bring this out and just do some really major damage. Of course, if you're not taking on Nilfgaard and you decide not to put this into the Simulate deck, this, card's become, this card becomes completely obsolete. But I don't know, I think this card is actually really powerful. You only really need two units from another faction to sort of match its provision power cost. Um, but yeah, this card is actually pretty powerful. Um, so going down the list, we are bringing Portal in because Double Cross did get that boost in the beginning of the season. It is now 17 provisions, so Portal here is actually a pretty good add. Um, you can have it bring out a combination of either two Ducal Guard or one Ducal plus Heavy Calf. Um, I brought in Uma's Curse because again, I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it. Honestly, I could have put in Triss. If I wanted to, I could have put in Triss, but the chances of me getting Imperial Diplomacy might not be that. Actually, it could be pretty high, actually. Uh, Imperial Diplomacy, Tourney Joust. But again, if your opponent is playing a lot of special cards, then Triss might not do so much. But she does serve to um, support the Assimilate units regardless. So maybe, so obviously Triss is better than Uma's Curse, but again, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. Uh, so I decided to put in Uma's Curse because, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, most of the time, it'll be Brick cards, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, next, we got Royal Decree. I decided to add in Royal Decree in case we need any of our gold cards to come out. Honestly, the mid the mid provision cost gold cards for Nilf card are actually pretty strong. So your Royal Decree actually does serve a good purpose here. Um, next is Yennefer's Invocation. If we need to steal any of our opponent's units because they're either getting too tall or if we want to use them for the third round. Um, if we try to bleed out our opponent's um, hand and they play a big combo to try and silence us, we can at least play Yennefer's combo get that card in our deck and use it for ourselves. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next, we got Mata. Mata really is only if we need to draw a portal, if we don't need it. Um, if you don't plan on playing portal first round, I would suggest mulliganing it and have Mata draw it out if you have Mata in hand. Um, but if you do plan on playing portal first round to get that early tempo, then by all means, and then it'll just be used to either grab Uma's Curse or possibly that Yennefer, Yennefer uh, sorry, sorry, that Triss uh, telekinesis. Um, next is Bribery and then a Cohort Combo, always going to be there for Assimilate, nothing more to say about that. Attorney Shelmar, of course, is the card that's going to be sort of the, the wild card in this deck. It could either be, it could be really big or really, really big. Um, but, you know, as, as long as you can match its 8 provision, which is not hard to do considering it's at 4 power. So this card, again, it's pretty good. Um, we got Sweer, so we need to take any of their engines as usual. Artorias Vigo, if we need to create an extra Assimilate or a Spy to, um, Grab our to um, uh, grab that extra assimilate plus create yet another unit from that. So that, that could be double um, assimilate points right there, or times four if you have um, Glynis. Uh, Glynis herself is here, so if you're not planning on playing Portal, then probably play Glynis. Um, it's not often that you'd want to play these two together, just because I feel like that would be too much investment in one round, unless it's round three, of course. But other than that, I think it's a bit too much of an investment. So if you plan on playing Glynis, you are going to be just a tad bit slower. Um, I'd say a tad bit slower because with Portal, at least, um, they'll have to deal with two different units instead of one, whereas Glynis can get removed by, you know, um, by Leo Bonhart of the world or Geralt Axie or Igni or if anyone decides to play play those crazy tall removal cards. 
or reset card. So next we got Cantarella. If we need to top deck from our opponent's deck, honestly, this could create for some pretty fun moments. Uh, you'll see one in the second game where uh, I was able to top deck a really, really powerful card with Cantarella, and they had two cards left on their deck. So I was like, I had no idea what I was gonna get from it. Uh, but Cantarella could serve pretty well for some decent deck disruption. Um, where, uh, what's next? So we got Rico. I added said it, uh, Rico because I'm not quite sure if Rico's ability actually works with Tourney Shalmar. Um, because it is technically part of a different faction. So you, well, I guess if one of you guys could let me know about that, that would be great. Um, but if you're taking on card deck, uh, if you're taking on decks that like to play tall units, so Monsters is a pretty good example. Rico is honestly a good way to um, counter against that because if they play an Eagern or if they play a Pugo or if they play um, Old Spear Tip, Goliath, you name it, then Rico gets that big power boost and it, it's essentially the counter for tall units because we don't really have, I mean we have Yennefer's Invo to take them for ourselves but you know to match their power Rico is pretty good for that. Uh, Dazval Grunstone Imperial Diplomacy. The Dazval Grunstone really if you want to create another Assimilate if you're getting greedy but it's just meant to trigger assimilate while well, imperial diplomacy if could help to support the um turn to shalmar if we're taking on other factions so uh next is courier i could have i thought about assimilate uh, sorry assassinate here but i decided ultimately to go with courier simply because of the cantarella combo that i could pull off so it does require a little bit of setup here but you know what you either take your chances with cantarella or at least play courier and make sure you know what you're getting and then you play cantarella um, if you're if you're not taking a if you're not taking on a Nilfgaard deck, this is a pretty good combo to play uh, because can because I think Nilfgaard is the only one that can really disrupt the decks um, pretty well. You know, unless they're running cards like Dandelion Poet, in which case, oh wow, he put like a really good card at the top of my deck. I'll just play Dandelion Poet, but you barely see Dandelion Poet nowadays. So yeah. Um, next we got one Imperial Diviner. Honestly, I didn't have the need to go major crazy on the Purify, nor did I need to go major crazy on the Assimilate, because I think I have plenty. I have three, four, five, six. Six Assimilate units I think is more than enough. You don't want to get caught in playing way too many Assimilates and then start playing, because I think by that point, if your opponent builds up too much tempo, you're done. So, I didn't see any point in that. Um, two Duchess Informant, if we need to create, again, engines on their side, boost up or assimilate, plus an extra engine on our side that they have to deal with. Um, two Tourney Jows for removal, and of course, the three targets for Portal. So, that's sort of the deck list for the really big assimilate. This is definitely not a meta deck. If you tweak it a little bit, maybe, but honestly, I wouldn't play this in the meta deck, especially because I'm running the likes of Rico. Like, come on. But I, and Uma's Curse. Um... But yeah, so that's sort of the deck list. Let me know what you guys' thought, thoughts of it are. And other than that, I'll just send you guys over to the gameplay. Um, my apologies, the room is still pretty empty. It's still pretty empty here, so it's like that's why you hear a lot of echo. You're gonna be hearing some echo in my videos until uh, until stuff starts coming down here. Okay, so we do go second. Uh, we have the ability to beat him in his own game. Uh, Rico here is actually pretty nice. Uh, I actually do prefer him to play in the first to play him in the first round. Um, but knowing Nilfgaard, they don't have a lot of like tall units. And he's gonna be stealing from me, so, you know, unless he can create something that's really tall, um, I don't think much else is gonna come out of that, so. Okay, as to what to switch, I'll get rid of Bribery, you don't want him here yet. Yennefer's Invo, maybe, if he wants to play that portal. But I mean, I only have three, four power units. That's kind of the problem. Otherwise, I would have loved to double portal. Okay, it doesn't look like he's portaling here. Um, I could portal here. I could portal here, but uh, I think I might just wear that uh, Arturius instead. That'll put a bit of pressure on him. Glennis. Okay, so I think I think I'm actually going to save um I'm actually going to save my portal for later. Uh we will play Arturius, I think. That's the thing though, right? Like the idea is I wanna try and make the Tourney Shalmar as like big as I possibly can. Um But the thing is if I'm facing mirror matches with Nilfgaard, that's not gonna be easy. 
I mean, I could use it for its melee ability, so it'll still be a pretty, uh, pretty damaging unit, so that's not so bad. We'll play our own Artorias here, actually. We could Duchess Informant. Yeah, that might be better. We get our double boosts. And then we get a third Assimilate unit, which is actually pretty good. But what I'm wondering is because Rico is a double faction card, like, Tourney Shalmar doesn't get the boost if it were to put in the ranged row, because he's technically from a different faction too, right? I don't know, that's something, that's another reason why I wanted to try out this deck, is to see if that theory works. Oh, Assassinate? Oh, that's fine. Um, if we Royal Decree, what would we Royal Decree? We could Royal Decree the Cantarella, possibly take his top deck, or his top card. But to play that off of a Royal Decree, I'm not sure. Trinity Joust makes no sense, it's only going to be 2 damage. Well, yeah, we, we could actually Cantarella. Yeah, let's actually Cantarella here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting him to have- I see- Actually, it makes sense, because uh, you got Deploys. With Assimilate. If you create cards that deploy, then I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Now we can just take it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, as Glennis is giving him big power. Yeah, I'm not gonna get much out of Rico here, am I? That's tough. I think if I had played Portal, I would have a bit of a chance, but yeah, it's okay. It just so happens that he has the... Uh... I mean, if you do play Matau, I actually do get Uma's Curse, which is nice. And then he gets out, what? My other Tourney Joust, actually? Or a Ducal Guard? Yeah. Kinda can't afford to have these. Ooh, I think now's, a... now's the best. I think this is the best Rico I can get, right? Yeah, that's. I think that's the best Rico I can get. Besides, it's likely that I'm going to use Attorney Shalmar for damage anyway, as opposed to just a boost. This card is surprisingly very strong. This card is actually very strong. It actually works pretty well in a simulate deck like this. Wow. Talk about commitment here. I mean, I didn't think Rico was that big of a commitment. Um, I think we can play one more. No, I don't think I can. My, um, I have both the Cal guards here, which is actually not good. So. I thought about adding Triss. But I thought about, but I, I decided to go with Uma's Curse because I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it, so. Two Imperial Diplomacies. I'm afraid that he might have Attorney Shalmar. So I'll just get rid of this. I have a lot of creates. Oh, boo. Wait, what is it gonna be? I swear, if it's any, if it's a good card, I'm gonna lose. It. Okay, turn. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind that happening. Uh, we can make up. We can put our Decal Guard here. Actually, he might pass from that. This looks like a pass. Yeah. Um. Well, at the very least, we can do this, and we can try and mill his top card. All right. Cool. We, he loses a source of damage, which is actually pretty good for us. Okay, so I have plenty of creates going into the third round. Um, having getting Glynis out here would be great, actually. Yeah, getting Glynis out here would be great. Glynis and Meno, Meno. Oh boy! Oh, what fun! Well, I'm afraid that I'm. I'm afraid I might actually break into a um, into a portal target, so I'd rather not do that. He hasn't played portal, has he? No. Okay, so he might portal here, or he could even swear to this heavy cav. 
Okay, there's his portal. I got rid of an assassinate, he got rid of attorney joust, so... Probably Imperial Diplomacy? I was hoping to be able to lock something, but I guess that's not happening, huh? We can actually go with the Fire Scorpion here. Oh wow, okay. That's an extra turn for setting up. Um, I want something that I can use to damage. Ooh, Ardfane. Actually, the Light Cap here might be good. Yeah, the Ardfane Light Cap here is actually pretty good. We'll take this. Perfect. And we'll damage you for one. So we have a pretty decent lead here. Bribery? Could be bribery. Oh, really? Courier? Oh, is he trying to set up a Cantarella? He's trying to set up a Cantarella. Okay. Um, let's actually counter that. So he's trying to get Menno, huh? Alright, you, you can have the Adrenaline Rush. <laughs> You can have the Adrenaline Rush. You know something I don't have actually? Experimental Remedy. I decided not to add, add Experimental Remedy because I thought it was going to be a bit too expensive. Plus I'd rather have Rico because, you know, in case you come across... Is he trying to, is he trying to get another career? Um, yeah, I'd rather get... Um, I'd rather play Rico. You know, in the off chance you play, you play like tall units. Uh, and Like in the off chance that the opponent plays tall units, I should say. Unfortunately, I don't have Purify, so I can't really stop this from happening. Never mind, I take that back. So we're pretty far ahead. Um, it's honestly like the fact that he took that one extra turn to try and play the Assimilate card, actually, I think that's that might be what costs him the game. Oh, that's the victory sound. I was like, oh, he won. Yeah, there we go. Imperial Diviner? Yeah, he has a lot of Assimilate units, actually. He has a lot of Assimilate units. Okay, um, I have- all, the rest of my cards are actually pretty strong. See, if I play- oh man, playing- actually playing Mata here makes no sense, because Menno is kind of bricked. He's very bricked, actually. I might actually have to play the uh, double cross soon. He might start like dishing out his decent, his pretty strong combos. Too bad I can't Yennefer's invocation a uh, spell. Um, we'll go bribery first, actually. Ooh, Cantarella here is not so bad. Well, actually, double cross now. A hand gate sword? Hello? I'll take this. Oh my gosh, hurry. Oh, you even have a... Whatever. It doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. So he, ha he has a hand gate sword in hand. Along with a... A bribery, which I think I should have taken, to be honest. I didn't even think about it. But I should have taken it. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. He can have it. I think next turn I have to play Uma's Curse. This one can at least get hit with that turn to Shalmar. A base copy of an enemy unit. A base copy of an enemy unit. Why would I? What would I want to copy here? I mean, another assimilate. I can copy another assimilate to be honest, but it's like, I don't know if it's worth doing that, right? He's not playing any big units. Otherwise, that's what I could have saved Mata for. I could Yennefer and the Mata, and this could be the last second, the last play. Anyway, um, yeah, it's got to be Doo Doo, and then I'll just take another. 
Actually, can I put him in the melee room? And yeah, forget. I'll just do this. I'll just take another assimilate. I'm. I mean, I'm pretty far ahead, so I'm not worried. I'm not too worried, I should say. He does have a Hengate sword, which he's probably gonna use. He's looking at his last three cards. Oh wait, Yennefer's invo. Oh, that's gonna hurt, actually. Yeah, the Yennefer's invo is gonna be big damage. Yeah, I figured. That's fine. I mean, I'm still pretty far in the lead. But I mean, he knows now what I have in hand, right? Which is, I guess, okay. Which is why he did that, I guess. Menno is still the biggest. Hmm. I guess I can just, um... I guess I'll kill that. He's played... He's only played one Yennefer symbol, so does that... No, I... Oh, I can't tell if he has another one because I didn't exactly quite have a look. Yeah, Mendo here is going to be a problem. I mean, it's, it is what it is, I think. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he still has a big leap to uh, go through, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, he does have a hand gate sword still. Uh, he has three points of assimilate, which is not a whole lot, honestly. I should have used it to destroy my own unit. That would have been smart. <laughs> Um, okay, I was gonna say, I, I thought about passing. I was thinking about passing there. So we got, oh, Precision Strike. Oh, that's fun. So we do go first. Um, I don't really want to open with the portal play. I also don't have Cantarella, so Courier here actually doesn't work for me too much. Could it be? We actually we can even get away with uh, not having portal here. Okay, so I want to try and get us into a long round three if possible. So I'm actually gonna start here with Glynis. There should be no way he destroys Glynis, right? Unless he po actually poisoning it is one, but again I do have a purifier which is fine. I just don't want to get caught with using all of my um, four cost units, so. A sage? Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, is this unitless? This could be unitless. We could be looking at a gourd here. We could be looking at a gourd. We could go with uh, Slave Hunter. Actually, we could go in Impair and Fortress because we have a spy, right? Yeah, we can, we can go with this. This is fine. And then we'll boost them up. And then next turn, we'll actually inform with the Sage or whatever comes out, and then we'll just ping him twice. Wait, no, but if you play a spell card, then it's gonna go up to six. That might not be the most ideal anymore. Okay. Alright. It begins. <laughs> um, Sweers? We could Sweers. Yeah, it, it's gonna be all spells for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, without Cantarella, I want, but I also didn't want to keep the portal in there, so that's also why I got rid of it. Yeah, we might actually have to play the informant here. Actually, wait, no, you wouldn't have any poison, would you? Wow, I'm in scramble mode because all my the cards I have in my hand aren't the greatest right now. Oh, if he has, oh, if he has a scorch, I'm dead. Oh, if he has a Scorch, I am dead. I just realized. I did not think that far ahead. 
Oh, a Scorcher is going to hurt. Oh my goodness. Th this is unitless. He has to have a card like Scorch, right? <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're, we're, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, really? That's an early precision. Actually, no, that makes sense. Actually, if you're playing unitless, you don't want to... Okay, no, that makes sense. And I guess it's to gain that lead. It's to gain that early lead. That makes sense. Man, if I had Lacerate, you guys would be dead right now. But I don't. Oh, well. I'll play Uma. I don't have a nature card. All these cards are awful, but you know what? It's it's Uma's Curse, you know? It, it's what Uma's Curse does. <laughs> this is what Uma's Curse does. Only if I had a nature card in my deck. That'd be fun. Do I have a 7 cost in my hand? In my hand? No, I don't. Oh, can't. Ooh. Yeah, I can't play this either. It has to be Graydon. I have to go based off of power. Yeah, that, that was a big problem. <laughs> big problem. Jeez, am I gonna lose on even against an even against a unitless square tell? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna lose on even against a unitless square tell. That's kind of that's low-key embarrassing. Low-key. You know what? We're we're gonna let him have this actually. We're gonna go ahead and let him have it. Because the rest of my cards are actually really bad. They're actually really, really bad. So I don't know how much use Yennefer's Invo is going to have, if any. Because it makes me want to um, get rid of her now. Because, oh boy. If I'm thinking he's gonna run all spells. I mean, I do get last say, so if he tries to bleed me all the way to the end, I can always Yenna for that Gord, so. So Gord now has three, four, five. He now has five power at the moment, but he can play so much more with it. Man, this is gonna be, uh, this will be interesting. This will be very interesting to say the least. I think I have to get Portal out, right? And I have to start playing it. Okay, here's another Sage, but I think we're just going to counter that with Attorney Joust. And I believe that is his second um, play, so... Yeah, my Double Cross might not actually get me that much power. If it's a special card, boost it by two. Okay, well, how many? Okay, cool. So we're actually just going to go and proceed with our portal play because I really don't think that he's going to dry pass at this point. I did just, I did just give him a spell card, so that might actually work against me. But that it's possibly Dryad's Karis. That could possibly be Dryad's Karis. The Gradient Justice. Alright. Gets out a Dwarven Berserker. Yeah, he's definitely trying to bleed. No, no, it makes sense. I would do the same thing if I was running Unitless. Um, but I have I do have to portal. But I mean that's actually that's not so bad as well, portaling early, is because we have access to our like a lot of our other cards for the uh, third round, so. Alright, now now we get to see which uh, which unit's gonna be bigger. Is it gonna be Tourney Shalmar or is it gonna be Gord? That'll be interesting. I mean, I only have really two cards that can create units from other factions, so maybe he'll still be the taller one, but I don't know. It's boost by two. So it's six, eight, ten, probably eight or ten. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Dwarven Berserker? Alright. Actually, I could have Swearsed one of these. I actually should have Swearsed one of these. Hmm. 
Marana Runestone. Dryad Ranger. Okay, it's for that poison. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Give me... Uh, I was hoping to... Actually, we could Purify. Extra Assimilate for that Purify. Ooh, look at that Assimilate boost. This is crazy. Assimilate... I, I think Assimilate... Like... The mechanic of create isn't the most favored, like in terms of like, you know, running decks. So it's like, it's not really, you know, it's not really going to be high up in the ladder, even with the support they gave double cross, so. I mean, I don't know what use I'm going to have with a unitless. Um, like, I can't, like, I can't play that. <laughs> There's no way I can play that, so. A Farseer. I mean, I may have to end up playing this, honestly, to get the Trinity Shalmar off. Oh. Roach. Interesting. Actually, that makes sense. It's deck then, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to swear, so I'm going to have to uh, double cross. Play the lowest unit on your deck? It's either going to be Cantarella or the Informant. I hope it's the Informant. Oh, right, Rico's a thing. Oh, right, Rico's... I forget about that. I forgot Rico was a thing. Oh, well, good thing he's here, actually, because he wasn't going to do much value here. The only real value he was going to get was going to be off of Gord, and he's going to be only a 4 power, because he only gets the base power. Only He should get, like, the actual value. Like, come on. This should be a punishment for hand boost. It should be, a, like, a... Punish, some sort of punishment for hand boost. Actually, now we can actually test how, um... Oh, that's fine. Uh... Ooh, we can Elven Swordmaster here, actually. I mean, at this point, there's really no way that... Oh, he's still going, huh? Interesting. He's still going. Alright, we'll just tick you for one. Um, well, it's gonna be three. I mean, this is really our best chance to play it, right? Because in terms of create, we don't have much create left. I mean, actually, we have quite a few create, but we only draw three cards, so we'll just play the Shalma right now. I mean, I know that... Uh, I know that one of his last two cards is Marching Orders, and the other one is most likely a Gord. <laughs> Alright, we can at least scout what our top three cards are gonna be. There's no sense in doing for him because he's- ooh. I'll take that. Actually, I'll take those last three cards. I will take those last three cards. Maybe I should have put Cantarella on top in case he does play Gord. So yeah, maybe I maybe I think I think I made that mistake. I think I made that mistake. Oh well, it, it, it should it should be fine. It should be fine. Come on, Gord, come on already. I mean, there's no way you win with Gord, so I think he should just pass. I really think he should pass. At least if he passes, he has a fighting chance, because I can't- I don't have Yennefer's info. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I was gonna say, the smart move there was to pass. Now he has a very tall last unit in Gord, and I'm a little bit scared. I'm actually a little bit scared still. Like, that's how big of- like, the fact that I had to play the Tourney Shalmar was gonna be a problem. So now it makes me wonder if I even need to keep Yennefer Sinvo. I think I should though. I 
I don't know whether to keep the Enderfurst Invo or switch it for an Assimilate. Like, if I can try and get Imperial Diviner or Royal Decree for the Imperial Diviner. Mm, no, I'm gonna risk it. I'm actually gonna risk it with the Enderfurst Invo. That's fine. Let's take your second... Oh, it's a poet? Hello? That was big. That's a big card to take off from. Wow, that was a that was huge. That was a pretty huge top deck. For this late in the game, that was a huge top deck. That's actually really insane. I was not expecting that. Water of Broccolon. I mean, that there's no way that last card is Gord, right? We'll play the Marauder here. Because it does get us the most points. Uh, it might have, it, it is just going to have to be Menno into uh, Bribery here. I mean, what else could it be, right? He, I'm surprised he's not rocking cards like AT. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not rocking AT. But yeah, no, I'm I'm nowhere near out of this loop. So it real, really all depends. It really all depends. Yeah, still had Triss waiting. Okay, that's fine. Tempering? I was gonna say, you should boost one of your dried fledglings for greed, but it's okay. Uh, we will play Bribery here. Ooh, hello? Yay, we get a Triss of our own. Nature's Rebuke here is actually really nice. Now the question is, do we win? Oh, uh, this gourd is going to be so massive though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's. I, I think the gourd is going to be too big for us. I think the gourd is too big for us. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, that sucks. Oh, will this be enough? Oh, he needs to be 15. I don't know, man. It's a big gourd, but... Where's his gourd? Right. Okay. So, uh, that's gonna be the showcasing for just a fun little assimilate deck I decided to create and try out. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Um, I know that create isn't, again, not the um, most desirable mechanic to use, uh, but I don't know, I find it's a lot of fun sometimes, and I just want to chill back and just play some fun games. This is definitely something I would rely on. Uh, so let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the deck, of course, and leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And other than that, this is signing out. Oh, and of course, subscribe for more great content. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one.